Hey guys, what's going on? So we are going to be doing some absolute value today. Okay, so absolute value, it can look confusing, but really once you get used to it, pretty simple. Okay, so you can see we have highlighted over here where it says two equations. Okay, so when we're doing this, it's always going to be, right, so here we have the absolute value of x plus 5 equals 20. So I always want to set up two equations. One should say just your basic, exactly what it says, x plus 5 equals 20. All right? And then we'll have another one that says, sort of draw a line here, so we know they've got two different things going on. Another one will say exactly the same thing, x plus 5, except now the answer will be negative. So whatever, whatever this thing was right here, so we're just going to make it negative, right? So in this case, it was 20, right? So then we say x plus 5 equals negative 20. And then we just solve for it. Solve for both of them, right? Subtract 5. Oops. I always do that. Subtract 5, right? So 20 minus 5 is 15. x is 15. That's one of our solutions, and then we'll subtract 5 over here again, right? and remember, <clears throat> remember that we only have a negative, so negative 20 minus 5 is negative 25. Well, that's our solution, right? So we have two solutions. One is x equals 15. 2 is x equals negative 25. So you're going to be seeing two solutions. Okay, now, hopefully hopefully we've got that down, right? Um, now the next issue, let's erase this here. we got some room to work with again. Let's go ahead with a large eraser. Whoops, didn't mean to erase that. We'll just erase the whole thing. Just give me one sec here. Um, if the, the x equals negative 25, if that was confusing to you, when we have, you can do it just with a number line, right? And so, let's get our pen back. Oh, forgot to erase that last little part, that's all right. Okay, so if you have, just like your basic number line, right? And here is negative 20. To the right, is we'll see like negative 15, right? So going to the right, and it, this would continue all the way down to zero and then into the positive numbers. And then going to the left is numbers that are actually higher. Negative 25, negative 30, all the way. could keep going on forever. So remember that negative 25 is actually less than negative 20. Right, where the negatives, the bigger numbers, are less than the smaller numbers. Right, as you're just getting closer to zero and then into the positives. Okay, that was probably over explanation, but if it helps anybody, then it was worth it. All right, go away, number line. Okay, so now our next issue is if the answer ends up equaling something that's negative. Okay, so we'll do the same. So what if we have x absolute value again of x plus 5 equals, so this time let's say it's negative 20. Okay, so you see anything like this? We have the absolute value of x plus 5. We don't have any other numbers hanging out on the left side of the equation equals negative 20. Absolute value cannot equal a negative number. We just have this, or it'll say empty set, right? Um, a slightly more complicated version of that is, never pick the small eraser again, that's for sure. Okay. Um, okay, so if it says absolute value x, 
plus five. And then let's say it says plus 10 equals, let's say it says, um, let's say, it, yeah, I didn't want that negative. Let's say it says equals three. Okay, absolute value of x plus 10 equals 3. Okay, so we got it equaling a positive number at first. Seems like we got a good one here, but we got to get rid of this 10 before we mess with the absolute value, right? We want just the absolute value stuff on the left side of the equation. Everything else goes away. So we subtract 10 from both sides, right? 3 minus 10 is negative 7. And once we have that we have absolute value of x plus 5 equals negative 7 once we have that this answer cannot the absolute value cannot be a negative once we see that it's again that uh empty set answer it looks like this right so once we see it equaling a negative once we have the absolute value by itself equaling a negative the answer is always going to be empty set so you'll either see an answer that looks like the zero with a slash through it or the words empty set that will be your correct answer so anyway, that's our uh, a review of how to do absolute value, and hopefully it helped you out.